Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is another chat with me and so I'm going to get into what my styling products are. I am doing three different sections on my hair. I kind of have it roughly parted. Actually as I'm feeling it right now I feel like it's not quite even. I did kind of take a a right tail comb and tried to part this but I am not an expert part person and I just don't have the patience for it so I feel like this is good enough I feel like they're pretty even sides now so obviously two sides here and one in the back why I'm doing this is because I have three different leave-in conditioners from one brand that I want to try to experiment with I've done this before not on camera and so I just decided I would do my other half of my test on camera my reason for trying this again too partially is because each section of my hair kind of responds a little differently. Um, my back section is a little bit looser and these top sections, depending on where it's parted, respond a little differently as well. So like I said, I'm just going to mix them around from what they had been before. So in this one too, I want to make sure my hair is very saturated. So you will probably see me putting a lot of water on. Once again, this is a chat with me video, so I will just kind of go over some things that have been happening and we're going to get into this. So the leave-in conditioners that I will be using from are from She Sent It. And uh, like I said, I have three of them here. And so I remember last time I had, it was the papaya one on this side, this Tahitian vanilla coconut in the back, and this cocoa cream on this side. So I'm just going to change that around. I guess I will do this Tahitian coconut over here on this side. Let's see if it's open. I'm just going to spray this on. This has a fairly nice mist. This has a pretty even distribution, I feel like, for the mister. It's not like one of those streamers, I would say. I am going to brush this in, but I'm not really going to brush style my curls. I just want to help distribute this. I debated whether this was even the practical thing to do because, you know, I could be contaminating some of the product onto the next section, but I'm going to do this anyways. And then I'm just going to kind of rake and shake and scrunch my curls some. I will be applying a gel afterwards. Now I'm going in with this cocoa cream in the back. Or no, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to go in with the papaya one in the back. I will get to the talking section here in just a minute. Okay. Only going in with about that amount. That actually might have been too much, maybe even. Well, it's in now, so. I find the back section hardest for me to work with. What's your least favorite section? Do you have like sections that don't work as well for you or don't, maybe I should rephrase that. Do you have sections that don't curl as well for you? Um, or what is your curliest section? I think most people experience that. But like I said, let me know if you have a section that you feel is less curly than the rest of your hair. I can find it frustrating sometimes myself, but I'm trying to remind myself, you know, it's just my hair is just the way God made it and therefore I should be happy. I know a lot of people would love to have curly hair so I feel like in trying to do this like raking and shaking without styling with a brush I'm giving you my full double chin look here so I apologize if that's pretty unattractive. Okay I am wiping off my hands in between and now going in with the last one the cocoa creme leave-in conditioner. I'm just going to go in with one pump for that. So also another thing, I just dropped my brush, but another thing I was wondering about was this is the beginning of summer probably by the time you're seeing this video or darn close to it and I was wondering if you have any summertime plans. Are you one of those people that plan your vacations for the summertime or are you one of those people that go when regardless of what time of year it is, just whatever works out best for your schedule. I remember when I was a kid in school, I was always envious of those other kids in my class who got to go on vacation 
that wasn't necessary or was during the school year and not in summertime but just because I wanted to be able to get out of class too I thought that would be fun you know but no my parents always did their summer vacations or did always did their vacations in the summertime as an adult I don't mind so much now I don't I'm not upset over it but I think most kids would feel that way too you know want a chance to get out of the classroom okay so once again this is the cocoa creme side I have these are what my curls are looking like decent clumps here this is the Tahitian side over here I don't feel like it's clumped quite as much as this and then the papaya side I'll turn it in the back and show you okay this is what the papaya side is looking like I can't really see it at this point and now I'm just gonna flip upside down and apply my gel I decided to use the dippy do girls with curls because these conditioners really didn't have proteins in it that I can remember I tested this out with the conditioners just like a spot test and they seem to work well together so I want this gel for the fact that I like this gel and that it has the proteins in it but I'm going to flip upside down at this point I'm not being as particular about my suctioning I guess I really wasn't particular anyways in the beginning but and I'm just going to smooth this over and scrunch The reason why I got my hair so wet is I feel like I've noticed this gel as much as I love it. I really do love this gel. I feel like it gives me a little bit of a flash drying effect. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. I'm not feeling it so much right now, but on some occasions I have definitely noticed a flash drying effect. So like I said, let me know if you've noticed that at all. It doesn't change the fact that I really like this gel. I really do. Okay, I'm just going to keep scrunching some more. And then after I finish scrunching, I will wet plop and I probably won't show that on camera, but I'll wet plop and then diffuse. I'll come back and I'll show you the final results. I am going to quickly add just a little bit more gel right on top here. That area sometimes can get missed when I'm just applying gel upside down and it definitely gets frizzy up there. So just going to put a little bit on my fingers and just kind of do that. Glaze it on. Okay, don't go anywhere. Like I said, I'm going to wet plop and diffuse and I have one more thing I want to talk about. So I'll be right back. All right, curl friends, I am back with my hair fully diffused and now I'm just going to scrunch in some oil. I haven't seen what my, the back of my hair looks like, so you guys will get the first view. The other thing that I wanted to talk to you about was the fact that I have mentioned this already in a previous chat with me. I kind of alluded to what was happening in my life and then I did a short recently on YouTube that kind of explained a little bit more. Um, my grandpa had come home on hospice care and I was helping take care of him a lot during that time. And you may wonder why I'm not crying at this point. I have shed a lot of tears, to be honest, I, I have. And it's not that I have no emotions over it anymore. I'm sure I'm going to still shed more tears. Um, but at this point, I'm okay and um, but I will say what I wanted to talk about about that was that the amount of time I got to spend with my grandpa it was truly truly amazing because I don't I don't feel like I have many regrets in life I have mistakes I've made and I wish I hadn't made them but I don't fully regret it if that makes sense because I feel like it has helped make me who I am today but there have been a few regrets that I've had in my life one of them was for a, a great grandmother of mine that I was working too much and didn't spend time in her final days. I didn't know it was her final days, but, um, and you know, you just, I wish I had been there more. And so when my grandpa's time for passing came, I, I was able to spend 
a tremendous amount of time with him and I don't regret it at all. So my thought is, you know, if you have loved ones, I encourage you to to just take a little extra time with them. We don't always know when when they're going to pass. Um, and this may be hard for some of you to hear, but just having gone through it myself really recently, I think it's important to spend that time with them. It's it, it's helped me. It's given me tremendous peace in the whole process and it may help you. So now let's get into judging my hair. Let me try to split it up in the three sections. This is going to be like a rough split. This isn't going to be perfect, but it may give us a little bit more of an idea. So on, well, we'll just go with the order that I applied them in. On this side, once again, I had the Tunisian, um, vanilla coconut leave-in spray and it's decent I mean I don't have the halo frizz that I feel like I have in some other areas so I feel like this is this is decent it isn't quite as clumped as I feel like some areas are like I said I haven't looked in the back I should have probably done that before before I filmed this so I know what I'm talking about. You know what, let me go get a mirror and I'm gonna go check in the bathroom really quick and I'll be right back to update you. Okay, my thoughts on the back section is, it is my least favorite section. That section is the one that I applied this Papaya Daily Moisture Leaf In Conditioner. And it's just, I want to like this. I mean, I, I really like the scent. Although to be truthfully honest, the other two scents are probably my favorite, but this is kind of like exotic tropical scent and I like that. Um, but this is just, it's left my hair the least defined. I feel like, I know I've said that area is my most, or is the area I feel like I struggle with the most, but as I also said that I applied these products another time in a different rotation on my head. And before that had been on one of the sides, actually it had been on this side I remember and that was probably my least favorite of the first trial that I did these so it's being consistent with being my least favorite so I think this one is my least favorite let's get into we'll go for my second favorite I think this is I don't know this is hard to tell to be truthfully honest because when I applied this last time I had it in the back section today it's over here and this had been my favorite when it was in the back section. I actually, one of the rare times I like my back section the best. Today, this is pretty good. Like I said, it's not giving me the frizz, but I'm blending my thoughts here because this side with the cocoa creme side, I like the clumps better in this one. So I'm just gonna say that those two are tied, the cocoa creme and the Tahitian vanilla one. These two are tied. I do have some frizz up here. This might've been application because when I was looking back, I don't know that I got it up here as well. Um, so that's just that's just my thoughts. So overall, I really think these two pretty much tied for me. Um, I like different things about them. And so I think both work really well. This one, as I said, is not my favorite as a leave-in conditioner, but I have used it as a rinse out conditioner too. So, and it worked decently that time. I only did that once though. So that comes to the end of my chat with me. It was a little bit different, I feel like, than some of my previous chat with me's in that I was more doing like a product review this time. I hope that's okay. It's gonna be okay because I'm putting this video out there, but that's not really the normal style of my chat with me's. But anyways, I am curious of which area you think is best. Do you like this side, the back, or this side? So let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to respond to any of the topics that I brought up today too, that would be great. And until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.